As soon as Cylinder drew that perfect marble, it was $4 straight into $3.50. I did note that Learning to Fly got out to $7 briefly. Back into $6, King's Gambit is there. Does Red Resistance be completely brushed by the market? His race is going to be won or lost in the first couple hundred metres. If he gets to the front and does get a degree of control, which seems unlikely to this point, but maybe he bluffs his rivals out of it, all of a sudden double figure odds about him. Looks a big price. Shinzo's there. Uh, Steel City's there. Don Corleone. Is he the one forgotten at the moment? Probably. Yes. yes, he's going to be suited by a high-pressure race. And as we go across to the, to the second page of the market, and this is where we'll find Platinum Jubilee. So there's been a little bit of specking already, $21 into the $17. But even Blanc de Blanc, like, it is a very deep slipper. <laughs> and then you've got your Breeders' Plate winner. How often do you see a Breeders' Plate winner go around at $51 mm -hmm. in a golden slipper? So, yeah, it's a, a crack feel, a, a good race. We always try to look for something outside the square, and I feel as though that's where we could have been making an error with Cylinder. I don't know if it's the good and blue or what, but immediately when you see their colours and you see their young two-year-old, you think, yeah, 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 you'll be, you'll be up there. But I'm looking for something else. Mm. Are we just looking away from the obvious for no reason? Yep, I think we are. Yeah. I think we are. The more I look at the race, the more I think that bulletproof that horse, case. good draw, Is versatile. It possible to knock? Yeah. Absolutely impossible to knock. So, yeah, it makes him the horse to beat, doesn't it? But I do think that Don Corleone and Platinum Jubilee are the ones that are overs in the current market. Okay.